Those winds came from the northwest, moved their way down to the southeast and further to the east. That's where we find Andrea Lucia talking about more damage from these storms. Andrea. Yeah, Scott, we're seeing a lot of tree damage. And I keep saying, I'm not talking about branches. I'm talking about big limbs that have come crashing down from trees. They fall in on the sidewalks. This one behind me fell right on top of a family's car back there. Several people that I have spoken to have told me that the storm that passed through here last night was unlike anything they'd seen before. It was loud and it was powerful. And then as soon as we opened the door, you could hear like pop. It was like popcorn. Pop, pop, pop. All the fences just started going, started popping out. Yeah, Ernestine Hawkins, like many of her neighbors, lost her fence all over this area. There's obvious roof damage. The town's fire department says it spent today assessing the storm's impact and clearing fallen trees from the road. We've seen many homeowners out, too, ready to clean up after getting quite the scare last night. Because it, it went from just normal storm, I'm just sitting there on that, that side of the house too, to just tornado-like, electricity cutting on and off, um, the table, glass table on my back patio, I heard it get picked up and then dropped, and I thought this is not just gust of wind, this is something different. So I, I grabbed the dogs, and we got in the one, one safe room in the house and held out for a little bit. Now, the good news is the fire department says no one was injured in this storm. Hundreds of people did lose power, at least for a few hours last night. Uh, most of them uh, had that happened because of trees falling onto power lines. Uh, most of those connections have been restored by now. Some uh, are still being worked out. And I don't have to tell you, Scott, it is hot. It is muggy. It is miserable out here. So my heart goes out to anyone without power right now. Yeah, absolutely. And that heat is going to continue through the weekend. I've kind of repositioned myself just a little bit, Andre. And thanks for that live report to show you this tree that just got split in half, large pre tree branches down, I should say. And then as you take a look further off towards the uh, north and the west, so here we are in northwest down the southeast, so further to my east southeast, I should say. This tree just pretty much sliced in half. And you then see the awning of the drive through pushed off and then down onto the ground. It, that is an indi indication to me of these winds coming in that were 75 miles per hour straight line winds, Doug. That can cause a damage that looks like a tornado, but when you analyze kind of what's going on, it's all in one direction, meaning straight line winds. Yeah, and I remember you and Aaron last night, I think winds topped out when you were checking 86, 87 miles an hour in some places near where you are. It's pretty amazing, yeah. the, the power of the wind and Mother Nature. Scott, thanks. Our thanks to Andrea as well. And